All right, so this time we have question number 11 in our college algebra homework number three in my lab math. And the instructions say solve. It just says solve. It doesn't tell us how. It just says solve this equation. And so I've got this written down up here in my screen. Let's talk about this a bit. First of all, the fact that we do have an exponent of 2, a squared, and no bigger power, that makes this equation quadratic. Okay. And in order to solve a quadratic, we have several techniques. We can either factor, we can solve by factoring. We can uh, complete the square, or we can use the quadratic formula. So there's three techniques that we can use to solve a quadratic. And I got to tell you, factoring is the fastest, but not everything factors. Okay, so let's see if we can solve this by factoring. Factoring is the fastest. Here we go. So since we have a standard trinomial, standard means that the lead coefficient is 1. Uh, we can just start with our two sets of parentheses, and then we need to read the signs. A minus at the back means the signs are different and then we can fill in the blanks. Okay, so t and t make t squared. And then I'm going to need two numbers that multiply to make 16 and subtract to make 6. Okay, it actually needs to be negative 6. Are there two numbers that multiply to make 16 and subtract to make 6, 8, and 2? 8 times 2 is 16. Notice that 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And now that this is factored, I can set each factor equal to 0. Moving the 2 and the 8, that's going to give me t equals negative 2 and positive 8. So let's see if that is correct. t is negative 2. And it does say to use a comma to separate my answers, negative 2 and 8. Damn. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.